A significant improvement over the old versions is the gridding functionality of Serpac. The 2D grid function now allows you to change a, a number of things, most importantly where the grid appears and the extents. So here you have the interval, this you can say go to the view or to the size of the data, where you want it and what colour you want it. Um, simply apply that and you get a grid. The real advantage of the new 2D gridding stuff though comes in when you are off one of the, the, the three directional axes. You get a 2D grid, um, again we'll go to the data. What happens is the software decides what view you are closest to and puts the uh, what section plane you are closest to and puts the grid in that section. If you choose not to replace the current grid and we'll put it, this one in green you end up with a secondary grid. Now that's fine but what you might want to do uh, for instance is put a nice cyan one um, on the data in the midpoint of the data and you can put grids all through your data or however you want it to be laid out. Similarly, um, if I just get that data back again, the, the 3D grid um, allows you to say where you want true grids. Do you want the, the grid below and behind? And we don't want anyone in the long, any grid in the long section view. Um, and you end up with the 3D grid like so. By changing those parameters, um, for instance, we can say I want it both in front and behind. Um, and we want on the right, you get a different grid, a much more complicated grid.